will probably be some big event at the end of this dungeon. <laughs> I forget which one was that's Pat. the that's the second boy, the nice oh. one, the nice one. It's dark in here. <laughs> I'm scared. Quit being a baby. We're only on the first floor of this place. Did you hear that? They really did come in here. Stell? Are you alright? Luke! Pat! If you can hear me, answer me now! Those little brats. Are they pretending they can't hear me? They might have climbed up to the second floor. Let's hurry and see if we can find them. Okay, there's nothing there. So, no. I guess we just go up. What are you going to do? There's so many help! Uh, what's the difference? <laughs> run, yeah, I know. Run full <laughs> speed in the direction of the voice. Oh, I guess maybe it's like you run off by yourself or you run in with Josh. I guess we'll go with Joshua? I don't know. Let's go, Joshua! Right, I've got your back. You monster! Oh, no, that's, that's the other, the other one. <laughs> You monsters, go somewhere else! No! Shoo! Shoo! Leave us alone! Chew on this! Estelle! What are you doing here? Joshua! You're here too! Get back, you two! These monsters aren't playing around! We'll take care of them! Hint! Protect all NPCs! If NPC's HP reaches zero, the game is over. Okay. Sepatha. Uh, where can... He's getting close to getting his thing. Oh, these enemies aren't even that hard, so... Closer to what are you doing? Guy? <laughs> Jesus. It looks like that's that. Yeah, I'm glad everyone's safe, too. By the way, that was great timing the way you blit you blitzed those monsters, Estelle. You really think so? Is it safe now? Oh man, that was awesome! You really showed them, Estelle. Not bad for a girl. You little twerp. Ow, that hurts. What are you trying to do to me? What's wrong with you? You even dragged poor Pat all the way up here against his will. <laughs> it's time to think about what you did today. Ow, you're hurting me. Stop it. I said stop it, you violent she-devil. So this is the things I get for saving your neck, huh? Looks like it's time to give you some of my special discipline. All right, Estelle, I'm sorry. Everything was all my fault. I am. It's to hell. <laughs> Should we forgive each other like they teach at school? This brat doesn't need forgiveness, <laughs> but a little discipline should do the trick. 
Estelle, behind you! It's something with teeth, isn't it? I didn't mean to read it that way, but whatever. <laughs> uh, nice monster? I'm not gonna make it in time. Oh. Nope. Oh, is that Cassius? Yeah. Huh? Dad, you came! You still lack the skill and understanding, Estelle. You must always prepare for unseen danger by sharpening your senses. That's part of what it means to be abrasive. D dad What are you doing here? I just happened to be in town and heard the whole story from Ina. I give you points for quick thinking and taking action to come after the children. But you failed to follow through completely. I really messed up, didn't I? It's a good thing you showed up when you did. I'm sorry. I should have been watching her back. That just means that you have room for improvement. Constantly working to overcome your weak spots is the key. Understood. So how about we head home, everyone? Can you boys walk? I... I think so! <laughs> that was... Incredible, Mr. Bright! You were like a gazillion times more awesome than Estelle! <laughs> of course I was. I'm her father. Alright, everyone, let's file on out of here. I'm with you, Mr. Bright. <laughs> Who's the glory hog now? I mean, I guess I should be thankful that Dad saved my pine. But why does he have to go and take all the credit like that? It really chaps my hide. <laughs> That's just the way he is. After all, he is Cassius Bright. It seems like you've had quite a day. Dad is just unbelievable. The second we got back to Roland, he says, I'll leave the reporting to you, and takes off for home. <laughs> the sheer nerve, I tell you. <laughs> There's no need to make a mountain out of a mole over it. At least the boys came back safe and sound. Anyway, I think that's all there is to report. See, payment for child rescue. Woo! We got a thousand! Current rank is Junior Bracer, ninth class. You did well for your first assignment. From the details of your report alone, I believe I can commend you both for a job well done. You should be proud of yourselves. You, you really think so? I know so. In fact, you'll do even better on the next job. If anything else comes up, I would appreciate your help again. Sure. How about we head home too? I guess we'd better. I've still got dinner to prepare. Would you mind holding on a second? A letter arrived for your father just a little while ago. Unfortunately, since he went straight home, I never got a chance to give it to him. Do you think you could deliver it instead? I wonder if it's more work-related stuff. I imagine so. The letter appears to be from one of our foreign branches. One of the guild's foreign branches? As I'm sure you've already, uh, as I'm sure you already know by now, the Burl isn't the only country where the Bracer Guilds exist. On top of that, your father is widely known all across the Zemurian continent, so we can expect these kinds of letters from time to time. If you two would be so kind as to make sure that he gets his letter, I would really appreciate it. Um, we didn't get to fully explore that dungeon. You might get to go back later. Possibly. Status. Are we healed? Yeah, we are. Um, but I kind of want to... Eh, we'll go talk to Cassius first. You should first. do story things. Um, also see it whenever possible. Or yeah. cutscene first. That works too. <coughs> hey, Joshua? Hmm? Do you think I'm really cut out to be a bracer? Well, you seem to have inherited your father's skill with his staff. 
And your nosy personality doesn't let you ignore someone in distress. Really? You think so? Sure. But why are you asking? Are you still thinking about what happened back at the tower? Yeah. Because of my carelessness, Luke almost got caught in the middle of a dangerous situation. If Dad hadn't come in when he did, he could have been seriously injured. I guess I'm just worried about whether or not I'll be able to stay on top of things in the future. That kind of talk doesn't sound like the Estelle I know. Huh? If we fail today, then all that's left to do is take back our losses tomorrow, right? Overthinking and worrying about things that haven't happened yet is definitely not like you. Isn't being a bracer what you've always dreamed of? How can you expect to succeed if you let something like what happened today discourage you? Joshua. You're right. This isn't like me at all. I don't think a serious expression really suits your face either. You laughing like a big ditz is far more natural for you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're gonna see my angry expression if you keep that up. <laughs> okay, I admit that last comment was pushing things a bit. I'll overlook it this time, and thanks for cheering me up. I don't know about you, but I'm so ready to get home and eat. My stomach just started growling like a bear. Maybe Glutton is closer to the mark than Ditz. Epic theme music. For the walk home. Yeah. <laughs> During the evening. Music in this game is actually really good. Mm. Let's see. Oh, there, there he is. is. We're home, Dad. We finished reporting to the guild like you told us to. Good work, kids. Details of your reports will be reviewed at each branch and will affect your pay and rank advancement in the future. Please make sure that you always remember to do it. Don't worry, we will. And before I forget, I got that copy of the Braille News you wanted. There was this letter for you at the guild, too. A letter? Huh? Well, I'm going to go get cleaned up and start dinner. Oh, and Dad? Um, thanks for coming when you did today. You really helped me out back there. I see you're being rather gracious today. Papa is happy. How delightful that my daughter has finally understood what a great man her father truly is. There's no need to hold back, Estelle. Come and jump into your father's loving arms. <laughs> in your dreams! I swear, the men in this house have one thing in common. They never know when to shut up. I guess she's not as depressed as I had thought she'd be. Should I be thanking you, Joshua? I didn't do much. I just gave her a push in the right direction. Estelle's a resilient girl to begin with. Yes, she is. But she still has a long way to go. She'll run into more than just a few stumbling blocks in this line of work. And overcoming those obstacles is what will teach her to stand on her own two feet. There's that soft side of yours talking again. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no! Are eggs supposed to explode like that? <laughs> she's, ex <laughs> she's exploding eggs oh my god <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have gone in expecting to make a perfect meal in a single try no wait cooking is supposed to be about passion exploding eggs are passionate right now once more that daughter of mine can sometimes be a little too passionate I think I'll go help with dinner we don't want the curtains to catch fire again. <laughs> but at this rate, there's no telling when we can expect to have a bite of food ready on the dinner table. <laughs> Alright then. Let's see what this letter is all about, shall we? Cassius cuts the letter's seal. Hmm. 
A message from the Erebonian Empire. Serious face. <laughs> what? It's gonna be like all nervous at dinner. Wow, this is a surprise. This is a new dish. Oh, this new dish is what I call Estelle's Explosion Over Rice. <laughs> Be sure to savor every last morsel. I will. Your cooking this evening, bleh, this evening is excellent. My compliments to the chef. Hmm. <laughs> this is raw talent at its best. Today certainly has been a busy but great day, nonetheless. We qualified as junior bracers, had our first real assignment, and I didn't even lose my eyebrows making dinner this time. Not to mention the food being delicious. For a first attempt, this dish is actually quite edible. At first, I thought I might have to pitch it out the window when you weren't looking, but it seems that technique won't be necessary tonight. Sometimes you're just so despicably rude, Dad. Don't you know how to be a hum how to be humble and just say something that bleh, say something tastes nice? All right then. How about this? Boy, I never thought I'd be able to eat something wonderful like this before I had to leave on business. You made a splendid meal, Estelle. Thanks, Dad. I thought he was being sarcastic, but he was actually being serious, yeah. so I read that wrong. <laughs> Wait, business? Are you really leaving again? Yes. Something unexpected came up. This time, I'm going to be away for a while. Hold on a minute. You're leaving when? Tomorrow morning. What? I don't care what kind of job you're doing. That's just too soon. It's about that letter, isn't it? Was there some sort of incident? Oh, it's nothing like that. Just a simple investigation. I'll have to visit a number of places, so it'll make so it'll take me about a solid month before I'm through. That being the case. Please take good care of the house while I'm away. What do you mean, that being the case? You always use some big excuse like that and take off for who knows how long. We have to accept it, Estelle. A bracer's job is to help those who come to help, who come to us for help. I know, I know. But what are you going to do about all your jobs here at the Roland branch? You already accepted a few of them, right? Haven't you? Uh... Oh, only about five or six. So I was thinking, and how about the both of you handle them for me instead? What? Are you really asking us to do the work that you're supposed to be doing? That I am. I'll have you do the ones which I think you can accomplish. And I'll ask Sherazad to handle the difficult ones. So, what do you say? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> sure. Sure, of course we will. You're okay doing these too, right, Joshua? Yeah, no problem. Looks like a good way to get some experience as a bracer. Then it's settled. I'll stop by the guild and let Ina know about the change of plan before I leave. Alright. I'm starting to feel more determined than ever. We'll have to bust our tails with these drops so we don't tarnish your name while you're gone. Oh, Estelle, my beloved daughter. Papa is so proud. Oh, my dear Lena, who art in heaven, can you see your daughter now? Our little Estelle has grown up to be such a lovely young woman. Face it, Dad. You're getting old. If people lose their trust in you at this age, you might as well just throw in the towel forever. I'm only helping you out because I'm your daughter and I have a duty to pay you back for the last 16 years. I, I'm only 45, and what's more, I'm very likely the most active member in the entire guild. Not bad for a pair of comedians. By the way, Dad, which flight will you be on tomorrow? The one headed for Grencel or the one headed for Bows? I'll be on the one headed for Grencel. My flight departs at 10 o'clock in the morning. That means I'll have to get up a little early tomorrow. I'd better set my alarm just in case. <laughs> this is 
this is going to be a dialogue between you and yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, nope. Joshua's here. Dad. Are you still awake, Joshua? You better hold off on the liquor or Estelle will get mad again. This is just my way of lifting my spirits before I travel. How about yourself? Would you like to join me for a drink? <laughs> He's too young to drink, at least in America anyways. Well, yeah, in America, but I guess maybe they're drinking ages as soon as they hit 16. I don't know, maybe. I'll pass. Actually, what I should be saying here is uh, don't offer uh, alcohol to minors. <laughs> Not like Shara, who would jump at any chance to enjoy a drink or ten. Or ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's because she holds her liquor much better than I do. There's something really serious happening, isn't there? There's no conclusive evidence, but there appears to be some sort of movement within the Empire. The Erebonian Empire? That sounds pretty suspicious. This movement doesn't appear to be overt. That's what has me worried. I intend to do a little probing at the Arobi Erebonian Embassy to see what turns up. Understood. I'll make sure to look after Estelle while you're gone. Don't you spoil that girl, you hear me? Now that she's become a bracer, she needs to learn to look after herself. Estelle will be fine. She's got good instincts. And despite being a bit rough around the edges, she has talent with the staff as well. There's no doubt in my mind that she'll be a first-class brazer someday. Yet at present, she's like a babe in arms who knows nothing about the realities of the world around her. At some point in time, she'll have to choose which path to follow in life. And Joshua, the same can be said for you too. It's already been five years since you became a part of this family, hasn't it? How time does fly. Yes. It sure does seem that way. But what you said back then. Are you sure you won't reconsider taking those words back? For me, keeping my word is what defines who I am. If I can't do something as simple as that, I don't know how I could live with myself. I know this may sound stubborn, but I can't take back what I said. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize, but I'd like you to remember this. No matter what path you choose in life, you can't erase, the, erase those, these past five years. <laughs> <laughs> Estelle and I will always be your family, no matter what may befall you. Thanks. Dad. A father's love, a new beginning. We have finished the prologue. Yay!